Hi, this is Mark from Esprit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your LEGO creation to your iOS device. The first thing you need to do is go to the App Store to download the Esprit app. So I'm going to do that now. You'll find our app in the App Store. Just search for Esprit or click on the link below this video. You'll need to be running iOS 8.0 or higher to use the app. Once you have it on your smart device, let's open the app and set it up. Once here, you'll want to log in. Pull the menu bar from the left of the device and touch Login. Enter the details you used on the social.esprig.com website. If you haven't registered yet, do so now, it's free. To start, touch the plus symbol in the top right as we're adding a new creation. Or you can just click on the add creation in the middle of the screen. This is what you'll see next. Starting from the top, you can give your creation a name. I'm going to call mine Yellow Car. Next you can associate a photo with your creation. Either take a photo of your creation, or if you have already done so, flip through your gallery to find the photo that best suits your creation. Below this are two important bits. The linked profile relates to the layout of your control, basically your GUI while the linked S-Bricks will allow you to choose which S-Brick or S-Bricks are in your model, in our case, the yellow car. There's only one S-Brick in our car, but if you're building something bigger with more S-Bricks, you'll be able to add them here. Now let's add a profile. Touch the linked profile and you'll see there isn't a profile here, but there is a button to take you to the S-Brick market. After you've touched the market button, you'll be taken to the custom profile page. On the first screen, you'll see those profiles you created yourself using our profile designer. At the top, on the left side, we can see that custom profile is selected. Touch the public profiles button on the right hand side to see which public profiles are available. This means that the list below are all freely available to everyone to download. But we're going to download one. So we look through the marketplace to find the model of our choice and select it to start the download like so. We touch the button and the check mark comes up when the profile has been downloaded. Bingo! Now let's head back to the My Creations menu. You should now see the profile you've downloaded. Select it and it'll be added to your creation. Last but not least, we need to add the S-Brick. Touch the button and the S-Bricks available to you will show up. If there's only one, you'll see only one. If there are more, they'll all be here but we have just one, so let's select that one. Now let's set up the controls. Each S-Brick has four ports labeled A to D. We're going to check them in turn to see what they can do. Let's try A. Let's test the port. We can see that the Jeep's steering is being engaged left and right, so we'll associate A with steering, like so. Now let's try B. This engages the motor to move our Jeep forwards and backwards. As you can see, our forwards is backwards. So we'll flip this around by pressing the invert button, like so. Now it should work fine, and it does. And finally, there's C. This should be the LED light on the Jeep, and it is. Now that's set up, let's head back to the main setup menu to start playing, touch the bar at the bottom of the page associated with the creation, and we're off. We're really proud of our S-Brick. Not only does it have an exceptional range of up to 90 meters, but it's also compatible with all LEGO power functions. And best of all, you can use it in direct sunlight, so there's no excuse not to come out and play. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or problems, head over to our forums where you'll be able to speak with our developers as well as other users.